Mr. Howitt, how is your reaction to the state of the union of uh, the Commission President Juncker when it comes to migration? Did he say anything new, anything which could uh, lead to the assumption that now the problems will be solved on a European level? Look, I think politicians have failed to both grasp the scale of the crisis and the danger is that politicians are slow in responding to the very clear shift in public opinion in Europe in favour of dealing with the crisis. But I think Mr Juncker today, to be fair to him, has made a very serious attempt to address the ills, to uh, give a strong signal the, of Europe's intention to deal with them. I very much like the fact that he talked about more infringement, legal proceedings against EU countries that were failing to meet asylum standards, uh, that he said this is, that all European countries, so the new resettlement scheme, um, should apply and that the member states should move towards agreeing that. Uh, uh, and uh, I think it, it, it's not going to solve the problem in one day, but does this show Europe is listening and has the right, the, the right political will is emerging? I hope so. Is 1.8 billion uh, euros uh, the amount which can solve problems? Look, people watching and listening, whether it's millions, billions or trillions, you know, these are just numbers on bits of paper to people uh, and what I think I respond and many of my constituents from my country, Great Britain, think is those poor people, that baby, his corpse dead in the arms of a Turkish soldier, uh, the people on the roads with nothing more than their standing up, standing up wearing on their backs. And we have to find ways in the, in the neighbouring countries with resettling refugees to our countries, but also to come up with solutions which end conflicts, which resolve the crises, which stop further generations of migrants moving in the future. And that's about action in Europe to deal with today's migrant crisis, but it's about European action in the world to stop that crisis re-emerging tomorrow. Can Europe cope with these kind of challenges which have that sudden he turned up? Well, we're failing to cope at the moment, and uh, you know, many. I'm ashamed that my country, Great Britain, has not been prepared to commit to the EU resettlement scheme, and my party, the British Labour Party, believes that we should. So, yes, the, we, there's been a failure of capacity to respond from Europe, but there are those who are anti European who are thinking, say, it's Europe's fault or Europe's to blame. And what Mr. Juncker said today is that it's very easy to get involved in a blame game. Much more important to do something about it, to act in, in, uh, in response. And we should always remember that these refugee crises have been created by wars, wars in Syria, four to five years. And the truth is that we've all known day in, day out, for four to five years about deaths in Syria and it's taken the death of one small baby to ignite public and political will to sufficiently want to do something about it. We now have to, to take advantage of that new climate of opinion and to make sure that the actions we take really work. The Pope has said to every part of the Catholic Church, open your doors to a uh, refugee family. Would you, yourself, open your doors to a refugee family? Absolutely. I want my country, um, certainly my communities, to be welcoming refugees. And if I can say, in places that many of your viewers will not have heard of, in Ipswich, uh, in Watford, uh, in Cambridge, which they probably have heard of, in where I represent from Great Britain, I was sitting with asylum seekers last week saying what more could we do to help them, to welcome them, to overcome the administrative burdens. And if each of us take our own responsibility to do what we can where we are responsible, I am convinced we can make a difference.